I guess, well, I'll tell you more in a little bit, but this week is already not but started out too well, I can tell you that for free. We're just leaving Crossroads right now. My light turned orange on the trailer, yellow, whatever you guys want to call that. That alternator wasn't charging. And got to Albert Lee here and pull off, see what the deal was. Uh, the reefer wasn't running and I had had it set on continuous. So got me in right away. It was the alternator, replaced the alternator, went good. Of course, you don't have to break every two, three hours with Wally at the truck. I think we'd, we got about 10 hours left down to Louisville. So she's looking good though. We're going to let Wally out here and then. I'm gonna put just enough fuel in here at the Topeka and then uh, I forgot where the town is but there's a Casey off 35 down farther closer to the border where I can get it for 296 on the mud flat path so I'm gonna put enough in here to get there and finish fueling up there and then we're getting closer to Texas but uh, it seems like it's taking a bit now once that sun goes away it's just weird, my body just all of a sudden gets tired. And even though I got plenty of sleep last night, we even took a nap while we were getting the reefer fixed. So, anyways, let's get this thing fueled up and then get back on the road. Come on. Hey right, guys, well, we're gonna get it fueled up here at Casey's right now. It's actually exit 19 off 35, uh, right down beneath uh, Wichita here. Uh, it's 312 or something like that on the oh, 315. Oh, it's not gonna show. Anyways, it's 315, but I'm getting it for 296 with the mud flap. Uh, I'll show you guys this whole situation here. Hopefully, stop and get a light here while I'm down here. There's a chrome shop that hopefully they have truck lights. I also need to get a new line here because I believe this one's. Maybe a little more like a 12 footer, I think, but I'm gonna get a 15 footer so I don't have to keep worrying about this thing doing this to me every time I try to turn. Performance Food Group, two miles up the road. 
was taking a while and these guys were gonna leave at one o'clock. So I just said, hey, let me go over here since there's only a couple pallets in the way and get these off and then I can go over there because I'm hoping to go pick up a load for Florida yet tonight. So we're gonna keep on moving, but it's a small place here at Salad and Go, so it's always nice. People are always cool when it's a smaller place, but I'm gonna finish getting backed in and for a wall, there he is. <laughs> Honestly, I thought everything in Texas was bigger, but man, these shipping places and receiving places seem like they have the tightest docks, dude. Like, they're more open in Chicago, it seems like. Had to back in this small gate here, as you guys saw, and kind of jackknife the truck into this door, but we got her. They're getting there, getting it unloaded right now, so figure I'd show you guys a nice jackknife of a back end we did there. Look how dirty this truck is. I was gonna get it washed up last night, but I had no time to do that. And it is just terrible, man. Filled with salt. All right, guys, well, we're, we made it to uh, right outside of Little Rock, Arkansas here. I was gonna stop into the Blue Beak and get a truck wash. It's like a pilot or whatever, but the truck wash is actually right off the main road right here and it was completely backed up out to the road and there were people trying to get in from both directions so I just said screw it and I'll get one later but I figured while well, we're parked here and it's actually nice out uh, we're actually going out up to the Bronx we picked up a load of avocados in uh, Dallas there so it'll be a first time for that I don't know how it's gonna go but I guess there's only one way to find out. But anyways, I'm gonna get the truck greased up a little bit here, and then we're gonna get back on the road, and then uh, I guess we'll check back in in a little while, so. Come out. Come out. Well, we just walked, what, two miles over to Canes? Yeah. We parked, we're in Knoxville right now. This is like the last Canes on our way up to the Bronx. And uh, yeah, that was, Quite the, quite the experience, huh? <laughs> we figured we'd get a walk in and then we'd get fat off our cane. Got the old sin wagon. I think it's pretty unique looking. Morning, you guys. We're uh, right now in New Jersey. Uh, we crossed over last night, actually. Uh, driving's been going pretty good. There's uh, warnings all over PA that there's going to be no commercial vehicles allowed on the road empty because of the storm that's coming in on Sunday. So thankfully we got a load picking up right after we dropped today and then we're headed out of here back towards Minnesota. So get that, get this one off. We should be there in another hour be at our drop and then uh I don't know I guess we'll see how that goes. We got Wally being a little irritant this morning too and his heart is up.
went through a like a what is that a tunnel? Would you consider that a tunnel? Yeah. yeah, like a tunnel, and it had a sign on there that said twelve. It said twelve foot eleven on there. That was a fight. So we like practically came to a stop. Thankfully there's like no traffic out here. Like look at that thing. Why do they say 12 foot 8 on them? Like that one said 12 foot 8. Freaks me right out. You guys, well we're about half a mile away from where I'm going to be delivering here. This is one of the <laughs> scariest drives I think I've ever done just because of these weird signs on the bridges. Uh, these weird signs on the bridges that say 12 foot or whatever and uh, everybody flies under them just fine so I don't know why they say that but anyways and then also just trying to make sure I don't uh, go wrong way or something I'm not going to be able to turn around like for example right over there there was uh, lanes that split off and I thought I had to stay straight a little bit longer to make the left turn while at the stop sign because it's construction I ended up being on the wrong side of the uh, jersey walls or whatever you call it so fortunately there's like no traffic and I just basically made a left turn and cut across to where I needed to be. Otherwise, I have no idea where I would have turned around, but uh, I got over here because when I was looking on Google Maps, the place is on the right-hand side, and if I would have came in from the other way, I would have been on the wrong side of the road. It looks like possibly they unload you off the road here. It's called Reyes, Reyes something, I forgot now, but. Um, anyways, we're going to get pulled up here and see what the deal is. Alright guys, well we are down here at Reyes Produce. They actually got multiple spots down here, but I'm going to stay parked in the roadway because uh, he said it'll be about an hour before they get started unloading me. So, he said he'll break the seal and whatnot, but yeah, this is uh, quite an experience. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like out here. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to come out here probably take a left and head out the same way there but we're actually only a few blocks away from the hunts market there's a dock for you huh back that one off the road come on all right guys well as you can see they're just pulling it back with a forklift or a jack in the trailer and then he's just grabbing it with the forklift and uh putting it in the place there reyes produce Pretty cool. I've never gotten unloaded like this before. All right, well, we just got unloaded there at Reyes Produce. It was pretty cool. They were just pulling uh, the avocados that I just brought in out onto the floor. And somebody had came in there and was already grabbing boxes of it. So that was pretty cool. But now we're going to head over to Elizabeth, New Jersey here. We're gonna pick up at Michael Foods and then go right back over to Gaylord, Minnesota. Stop, Wally. We're gonna go back over to Gaylord, Minnesota with that. Just must be like a transfer, basically. Um, but hopefully getting out of here is a little easier than it was getting in here. But we'll check back in once we get uh, to where we're gonna be picking up at. Come on. the trailer here in Michael I'm gonna or Michael Foods um, here in Elizabeth New Jersey backed in the door and it's right off the road here and I backed in angled because if I would have been straight my truck would have taken up that whole lane but the guy came out and he said you can just unhook if you want and pull a long ways right here or even back into this open spot over here where this guy is pulling out so I'm just gonna do that, get unhooked here. So as you can see, this is the road. 
and I'm sticking out in the roadway, so we're gonna get moved. Hey okay, guys, we're here in Faison, North Carolina. I don't know if I said that right or not, but we're gonna pick up a load of sweet potatoes here, going back up to Wisconsin Rapids. I had promised myself Monday that I was gonna go home and take a break from being out, but then there was a really, uh, really nice load coming down here to Sanford, North Carolina. So I said, screw it. I grabbed that load and just delivered that today. And then I'm gonna grab this load of sweet potatoes going up to Wisconsin Rapids that'll deliver Saturday morning. And uh, after I deliver this, I'm actually gonna take off. So uh, we're gonna, we gotta get a scale ticket. I gotta go back into the dock over there and then wash my trailer out. He said I could do it myself and it doesn't cost anything. Otherwise it would cost 20 bucks. But uh, anyways, and then they're gonna tell me what dock I can go in. I don't know if it's gonna be, be a floor load or if it's gonna be uh, boxes of stuff. We'll find out. A lot of guys wonder, ask, let me take a look. A lot of guys ask what my weight is uh, or if the stretch really affected the weight. Uh, that's my growth right there, 34,000. So I mean, I can still haul 45,000 if I want to. Gotta wash our trailer out. Got back in the dock here. I couldn't. I didn't know you were supposed to do it right in the dock. It says don't wash your truck in the dock, but I'm assuming that must just be the actual truck itself. So I'm gonna grab this hose here. As you can see, got some crap in here. We gotta get cleaned out. It's like we're back in the cattle hauling days now, washing out our own trailer. Even got the fire extinguisher looking hose. <laughs> It wasn't too dirty, just some pallet chunks and stuff. A little dirt. All right, guys, well, as you can see, they got the conveyor, they dump it on there, it goes up in there, and then it goes all the way up into the front of the trailer. And then I'll have to pull ahead so they can load the back up, but they don't want you back there while they're dumping them on. So I'll show you when it's all loaded up. All right, guys, we got it all loaded up here. The dog ate my weight slip up there. So that's sweet. Oh yeah, here's all the potatoes. And it does, they're just packed all the way into the front basically. So you can see, kinda, it's a little dark in here, but they're all the way up. We gotta run around 55 back till we get unloaded. Good morning you guys, we're sitting here in Mabane. Uh, is it North Carolina, I think? They had, we didn't, well, I guess it must be, we didn't make it very far yesterday, they had 40. Uh, completely shut down the uh, roads got pretty bad last night and I think I don't know if there must have been a big accident or what but it was adding an extra two some hours onto the drive and it was probably gonna be a lot longer than that because I heard over the CB that they just completely shut down the road we stopped here at this same place when I came down to get my engine tuned up. It's like an Exxon right off 40. It's like the only place I'd bud flab down here. Uh, they got it for 359 a gallon. Last night it was 357, so I caught that at the wrong time, unfortunately. But either way, I wouldn't have made it over here last night. Wisconsin Rapids, I don't know, they're about the same thing, but uh, McCain Foods is where we're delivering this to. I just wanted to drive over here and show you what they're going to do with the trailer to unload it since uh, 
you gotta unhook it in their yard horse or yard jockey, whatever, grabs your trailer and brings it over here to uh, unload it. So, get across the street here. We just had to scale in right over there uh, when we came in. So, we'll scale back out once we leave. And then you can see on the right hand side here the big. I don't even know what you call that thing. They backed the trailer on there anyways. The tipper. The tipper. <laughs> and then they just pick it up like that and then all the potatoes roll out the back. As you can see, they get a little overspill there. I can't believe they waste potatoes like that. Something a little different. Well, we have a 9.30 and she said, oh, might not be exactly 9.30. We got a couple of trailers ahead of you. Might be noon. So, nothing to do in this world. It is funny though. Ooh, freaking stinks over here. Oh, uh, she said, the, the guy before me, she asked what my reefer temp was and I said it was 55. And she's like, good, you read the bills. And he said, yeah. And she said, the guy before me said 34 degrees. So, uh, I don't know how good them potatoes will be. But anyways, we're gonna go park and wait for a call. Come on. Mom?